and I just remember why I don't do red carpet. And welcome back to my vlog. Um, today I'm inside, as you can see, it's just too noisy outside. Since last time I vlogged, I did a junket for bad moms. Then she turned to me and she went, damn, you fuckers are not nice. I don't know if you saw the video, I already posted it. And um, they were like, yeah, my kids say fuck. I was like, oh, fuck? They said fuck, but yeah, they did. Also this week I went on a red carpet, which is one of the things I dread the most. I usually say no to doing things like that because you never know what you're gonna get. You stand there and then they give you a slot at the back. Usually they do that for me if I'm not covering for like a huge outlet, which I wasn't this time. The event was Hollywood Film Awards, so they were like suspected, expected to be like a lot of big stars there. Angelina Jolie was coming, Jake Gyllenhaal, Kate Winslet, a bunch. A bunch of people. Anyways, so I got there and um, this is basically what happened. So I'm getting ready to go to Hollywood Film Awards where I'm gonna stand on a red carpet and ask stupid questions. It's one of my least favorite things in the world to do. I feel so stupid standing there like, hey, hey, screaming, screaming for the stars to be like, hey, come over here, talk to me. Ah. Oh, God, fingers crossed that I'll get a good slot so I don't have to like be in the back and try and like throw my microphone in when other people are asking questions because that can happen too. So I'm gonna get an Uber now and go to um, Beverly Hilton. So this is exactly what I thought it was gonna be. I'm all the way in the back and no one really stops here. They're just past on. It's really annoying. Hey, can we get a quote about Christmas from you? Charlene, one quote about Christmas. Sorry, guys. <laughs> What's your best Christmas memory? <laughs> Hi, Dave. Can we get one quote from you? I keep going. Hi. What's your best? <laughs> And I just remember why I don't do red carpets, and that is because this usually happens. Quick question about Christmas, your best childhood memory? My mother. What is your best childhood memory from Christmas? Oh, that's too personal. That was so disappointing, John, wasn't it? I am. I am you're, you're crying. Crying. Everyone just passed us. And people didn't even show up. They just snuck in the back. Everybody. There were a few people that actually saved my day. One of them was lovely Jamie Bell, who I adore. He's so sweet. Did you ever watch Billy Elliot? Just saying the name of that movie makes me cry. It's just such a sweet, wonderful movie. Anyways, Jamie Bell, um, he was honored that night uh, at the Hollywood Film Awards and um, he stopped to talk to me. Can I ask you quickly your best memory, childhood memory from Christmas? Uh, well, I, I, got, uh, I saw something under the bed and I opened it and it was a PlayStation and I was about 12 or 13 years old and I, I opened it when I shouldn't have because it wasn't even Christmas yet. But I opened it very carefully and I thought I put it all back correctly, tied all the wires back up, placed everything, but I've been playing it for hours. And my mum knew because she had intentionally put it in upside down. And then uh, she said I wouldn't get it on Christmas Day, which for about an hour I didn't, and then she gave it to me. Um, but don't sneak, don't look at your presents, because that's a massive, because I'm a parent now, and I really wanted that. And what a big blow for her. I feel bad about that still to do. My favorite childhood memory from Christmas was um, I got a Batman cowl. A cow, you know, the, the, the mask with the ears. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Maybe my first Christmas, which I've seen in Super 8 film, where I was the first grandchild born to a very large and loving family. And the Super 8 images from that are, uh, you know, ingrained in my memory. So another thing that goes on at these red carpets is that there's a lot of people that you don't know who they are and then they just put them in front of you and say, hey, do you want to interview this person? And you're like, 
uh, how is it to be here? You don't, yeah, you, you have no idea who they are. Sometimes they will just whisper to you like, hey, these are the sound people from the new Disney movie. And you're like, okay, uh, I don't really... And then you feel awkward or stupid saying, or unappreciative just saying no to interviews. <laughs> but then you're like, what am I going to ask these people? I don't know who they are. I don't know what movie they work for. Nothing. So I always try to like look busy and look at my phone or whatever. At this red carpet, uh, this publicist came up to me. He's like, hey, do you want to interview Joanna Cassidy? She was the one, she was in the original Blade Runner. And I was like, oh, that's nice. I haven't seen the original Blade Runner, but I haven't actually seen the new one either. Anyways, so I said yes to interview her. And then this happened. Hi, how are you? I'm Christine. Hello. Nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet so, you. Um, I just have to ask you if you remember your red carpet for the original Blade Runner movie, what that was like for you. Do you want the red carpet back then? This is I, a good question. You know, I, this is an amazing you question. Can this is like. Questions. <laughs> Can you guys. We're going to move you guys to the front. Yeah, we do. You best give do me I the best question. Are, you're asking me if I remember the, the original. I love to talk to people. It really isn't. I'm, I'm very comfortable. I mean, look at you. You're beautiful. Who, who would not like to talk to you? You know, I mean, it's perfectly all right. Yay. Hi. My new friend. What's your yes, name? Sanyi. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Are you happy about this red carpet? Oh, it was interesting. <laughs> yeah. I, I liked all the Christmas questions. It's definitely the holidays yeah. right now. Yeah, and you were covering New Year's. Like Chinese New Year. Yeah, Chinese New Year. We got to tell everyone to say Happy Chinese New Year. Yeah, that's it. I'm going home. I have like... Another thing that happens on red carpets is that there are photographers there just to take photos and these photographers are just so competitive. I mean they were screaming. This is just a short clip that I did when Margot Robbie and uh, the other cast members from her latest movie I, Tanya, were posing. Just listen to this. <laughs> very happy I don't have to go on a red carpet it looks so freaking scary to me so I did actually ask some celebrities what how they feel about walking a red carpet and um, this is what they told me like, this is a totally surreal situation and it doesn't really have any bearing as long as it doesn't infect my normal dynamics with my normal relationships then just enjoy it for what it is kind of a freaky moment and so I kind of look at all those red carpets like that. They're just kind of these bizarre things. But if you don't read too much into it or put too much into it, you kind of you go, you do your thing, and you go out and, and go home and then go back to your normal life. It's, it's pretty harmless. Do you spend a lot of time figuring out what to wear? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, I, I just, that looks so scary to me, that whole thing with so many people looking at you and taking pictures and looking yeah. at what you're wearing and then judging well, it afterwards. They, they, they yell too. Yeah. Like, over here! Over here! And you're like, everybody <laughs> always screams at you. And that's not going to look that way. And meanwhile, you're, gonna gonna me. you're 14 feet off center. <laughs> everybody <laughs> thinks they're dead center, which I, I that always makes me laugh because I'm like, and I always feel like all I'm you're not supposed to really talk back to them but I'm always like you're not actually in the set and then all the pictures are just me like because I'm always talking so I, I don't do it well but I also don't care yeah <laughs> you can't care so I've been asking that's it you guys thank you so much for watching and um I hope you learned something new about red carpets and uh, also if you have anything you want to ask me please put it in the description below and I will get back to you I hope I see you again soon and if you haven't subscribed, obviously, do it now. Thank you. Bye.